Welcome to e-commerce dictionary and this is part one of this series. So I wanted to go over a few key metrics that you need to know for your e-commerce store and I've got three that I've identified that are good for you to know how to figure them out for your store as well as why they're so important and how they can help grow your business online. So let's just jump right on in to the very first one which is AOV or average order value. So this is important because this is how much you are going to be making per order that you get on your store. So this is going to be a good indicator then of how much a customer, a new customer is worth for you, because then you're going to know, okay, if I get a new customer, how much on average are they going to be spending on my store? And then you can figure out your numbers in terms of scaling up your business. If you want to hit a certain revenue mark. So you calculate this number by taking your total revenue and then dividing that by your number of orders. Then you'll have your average order value and you'll know, okay, on average, how much is each customer going to be spending on my store? And that's really helpful information that you can then know of how much you can then invest in getting new orders and customers because you know about on average how much they're going to be spending and how much that means for your profit margin. Now, of course, you can always actually increase this number by doing things like upsells and cross sells on your site, which we've talked a ton about on this channel already. And I will link a video below or up above somewhere where you can learn a little bit more about product upsells and cross sells, but it's just offering complimentary products to get people to spend just a little bit more on your store. The second metric is your CAC or your customer acquisition cost. So this is important to know of how much does it cost to get one new customer to come to your store. And this is important to know so you know exactly how much money you need to be putting in your, to your marketing costs and how that's going to translate into sales for you. So you calculate this by getting your total marketing cost and dividing that by your total new purchases. So I'm talking total advertising costs like your paid advertising budgets, influencer marketing campaign, if you hire out a marketing team, all of those costs that go into marketing and promoting your store like social media and things like that, all of that together is your total marketing cost and then you're just going to divide that by the total new purchases that you have to get your CAC. So this number is really important because then you know how much to be spending to get new customers to your store. And again, once you know how much a customer is going to be spending on your store with your average order value, then you know a little bit more about how much you can spend up to a certain amount so that you're still profitable. And you want to check in with your customer acquisition cost to make sure that that's in line. You can also do the math and create your CAC for each individual marketing campaign. So you could say, okay, this is our customer acquisition cost from Facebook, from Instagram, from Google ads, from Pinterest, all of these different things. And that way, you know, okay, this is what each individual platform is worth to me and how much I can spend on each one. Or if one is just rocking it, you can spend all of your money there for marketing efforts and forget about ones that aren't performing as well for you. Also, you can look at increasing this by doing some on-site optimization. So making sure that you have a great abandoned cart email sequence, that you're not losing people on your product page. So that way you know that if you were sending that potential customer to your site, that they are a lot more likely to actually convert into a sale for you. So the third metric is our customer lifetime value. So this is a little bit trickier to calculate because not every customer is the same, but you're wanting to calculate this to see how much revenue you're getting from one customer throughout their entire relationship with your brand. So again, not all customers are the same. One customer could buy from you once and that be that. And another customer could buy from you 10 more times. It's all about kind of averaging out and figuring out on average how much a customer's lifetime value is and how much they're going to be spending on your store. And keep in mind that repeat customers are a lot easier if they've had a great experience with your brand, they love your product, they're so much easier to convert on your site versus getting new customers every single time. So you calculate this by multiplying your average order value times your number of transactions times whatever time period that is. So over a year time, what is your average order value and how many transactions do you think that that customer is going to be making on your store? Again, this is where it's really beneficial to have multiple products that are complementary so that people can come back to your store and purchase from you again and again. Or maybe you have a product like a skincare product that runs out after a certain time period after let's say three months. And then it's important to try and get them to come back again and again to keep purchasing from you. 
So it's a little bit harder to figure out sometimes the customer lifetime value, but once you know what that is, then you are a little bit more comfortable for spending money for advertising and maybe saying, okay, the first order I don't make as much profit on, but once they have bought from me and they're part of my email list and they come back again and again, by that second or third order, that's where I'm really gonna be making my profit margin increase there. So it's really helpful to know that metric. And one of the ways that I really recommend to increase that is by doing a loyalty program where you're rewarding people to come back and purchase from you again and again on your site. We've talked a little bit about loyalty programs before, so I'll put a link below and somewhere up above to a video all about that. And also doing email marketing. Again, nurturing those people that have already purchased from you once and are more likely to purchase from you again is something that should be a large portion of your time versus just constantly trying to get new customers. Because if you've got those raving fans, then they're more likely to keep coming back to your store and recommending you to other people. So if you are new to Shopify and e-commerce, check out this playlist over here where we've got our top videos that will walk you through step-by-step step all about creating an online store and how to increase your sales. Also, I would love for you to comment below and let us know what metric are you the most interested in increasing for your store or figuring out and what industry you're in. Pop that below and let us know. We would love to hear from you and see how we can help.